Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome to Let's Play an English Hunting. But I think I just got access to the theater. I haven't played this for a couple of weeks. Too many things to play, I guess. Why am I only getting 40 FPS? Seems locked. No idea. Doesn't matter, I'm just saying. Weird. That's not what I want to do. That is what I wanted. Good afternoon. I guess we need to do this. Have Clark escort you to the box seats. Cool. Which Clark? I don't know. You see, I expected someone young for some reason. I don't know why. This is full of seed, right? Pretty sure. Or at least this is full of seed. Maybe she's the real deal. Maybe. Amelia Reinhardt. Ah, that was fast. Was there a Zulu Empire? I know the, the Zulu was a name, but were they an empire? Is that the professor? No. Oh, it's Houdini, damn! That goes unexpected. He went around the... the banking... mediums. This is pretty cool.
Yeah, she's full of shit. The other hand, we actually saw a ghost, so I guess I don't know. Ah, she knows us. Interesting. Also interesting. I guess she's a friend of... Uh, I guess that's why we're here. She doesn't know what happened. Yep, you have missed something. I guess that's true. Hebrephrenia? What the hell is that? Hebrephrenia. Alright, wait, let me check it out. What the hell is Herbefrenia? Herbefrenia. Sounds Greek too. But the way English spells Greek makes it hard to know. Frenia is definitely Greek, so the whole word is Greek. Heber. Heber? Heber? Hmm. Disorganized schizophrenia, a subtype of schizophrenia prior to 2013. Okay. What is 
disorganized schizophrenia fucking sites um the condition is also known as hebefrenia named after the Greek word for adolescence Evie oh yeah you see Hebe it's Evie so Evifrenia then okay fucking English and possibly the ancient Greek goddess of youth Evie daughter of Ira okay uh, prominent characteristics are disorganized behavior and speech, including loosened associations and schizophasia or salad. Hmm. The most prominent features of disorganized schizophrenia are not delusions and hallucinations, as in paranoid schizophrenia, although fleeting and fragmented delusions may be present. Associated features include grimacing, mannerism, and other oddities of behavior. Hmm. Interesting. This game is very educational. Wow. So just came out and said it. <laughs> My calling is scientific. My dream has always been to pursue science, but they wouldn't let me into university. Because I was a woman, I guess. Yep, back then, bad times for women. What works up? <laughs> the guy never told us anything apparently and we're good friends too. Nice. Can we get here to come with us? Because she seems rather cool. Oh, she will come to us. Nice. I'm guessing not for long, but that's pretty cool. I like that. You look tired. Well, don't take the nap. It's a trick. And by that, I mean something will happen. Dream or something. I saw a ghost when I was a child. That is interesting. It was my little brother. Nice backstory.
That's the point. This game is super interesting. <clears throat> Alright. Nelson and I witnessed a similar apparition when we were children. Hmm. Damn. And again, we knew nothing about here. That's kind of bullshit. Yeah, that place is probably buried now. Again, so far I'm really impressed with this game. This is great. I hope we don't find him dead. Okay. Let's see. Our machine. The box of revelations. What is that? Attic machinery that can reveal the hidden. A real time viewer of the beyond. Designed by Professor Nelson and Professor Patrick Moore, uh, Florence Cook, Professor Silas Bennett. Yes, the course of this machine is based on my electromagnetic wave booster. Okay. But it broke. There are several names associated with parts of the machine. So he basically gave the elements to other people.
Why didn't he tell us about it? That is, I mean, I know the whole um, it's organized schizophrenia, but still. So say we'll stay here and tinker while we go find things. Yes. And I have to completely trust here. I mean, we don't have the reason not to. I'm just paranoid by nature. Damn, that's a lot of places. All right. I wonder how he found the money to have uh, a workshop too. Maybe Beatrice uh, helped him. Case of the haunted attic. Hmm. Man around 40 years old, emaciated, chained to the wall by his ankles, devoid of tongue, eyes, and ears. Jesus. Uh, identified the unfortunate soul as the son of the elderly couple, unseen since he was 15. Wow. That's pretty dark.
Je to verou, to je all right. Oh, what the fuck? Zohrenia. Well, this cases are very dark. Or at least not happy, I guess. He sounds like uh, autistic rather than schizophrenic. But did they even have a term for it back then? I don't know. Is he getting paid for this? Because apparently he's making good money <laughs> in these cases, or he could be. Oh, they did it on purpose. That's very Terry Pratchett. Cool. That goes nice stuff. We need to check everything because until now we have been getting like random items from everywhere. So better be safe. Cool, I think that's all. Alright, I'll end the episode here. The next one will go explore these new places for now thank you for watching as usually feel free to subscribe if you haven't press the like button leave me a comment always helps it's nice to hear from people um, have a good day night i'll see you next time